down. Bisping is seven years his senior. Anderson is two inches taller. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England! He is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael the Count Bisping! And now his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler. Holding a professional record of 14 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Corey Anderson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the beat. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Anderson. Side control now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Bisping getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. His opponent's got double hooks in now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust a lot, and now it looks like he's got it. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. He's done, he's done. What a fight. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, six seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Michael the Count Bisping. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there.